Welcome to Physics Magnetism Session 5 Today we will study about magnetic properties of the material Magnetic properties of the material First let us study the intensity of magnetization Each substance contains a large number of atoms In general the magnetic movement of these atoms are randomly oriented and there is no net magnetic movement in any volume of the material that contains thousands of atoms. However, when the material is kept in external magnetic field like this, atomic dipoles try to align parallel to the field. These all dipoles align parallel to the field. The degree of alignment increases if the intensity of applied field increases. This field, applied fields is increasing and also if the temperature is decreased. With a sufficient strong field, alignment is near perfect. We then say that material is magnetized or magnetically saturated. When the atomic dipoles are aligned partially or wholly, there is a net magnetic movement in the direction of the field in any small volume of material. Thus, magnetization is defined as magnetic dipole movement per unit volume. In this volume, how much is the magnetic dipole movement is existing? So, let us consider each substance contains a large number of atoms. The magnetic movements of these atoms are randomly oriented and there is no net magnetic movement in any volume of the material. When the material is kept in an external magnetic field, atomic dipole try to align parallel to the field. The degree of alignment increases if the intensity of the applied field increases. Here we applied the magnetic field, the alignment is increasing. When the atomic dipoles are aligned partially or wholly, there is a net magnetic movement in the direction of the field in any small volume of the material. The intensity of magnetization is equal to the ratio of magnetic dipole movement to that of volume. So, how many magnetic dipole movements are there per unit volume? M by V. Here, B is equal to 0 in this case. So, there is no magnetic movements here. Here B is not equal to 0. The magnetic movement is also not equal to 0. So there are so many magnetic movements. Unit of magnetization is ampere per meter. Ampere per meter. Consider a bar magnet of pole strength M length L area of cross section A. The intensity of magnetization of the bar magnet will be I is equal to M by V. M is M into L by A into L or M by A. Bar magnet intensity of magnetization defined as pole strength per unit face area. So, for a bar magnet, the intensity of magnetization is defined as the pole strength per unit face area. Second, this is the second property, magnetic property of materials. Intensity of magnetizing field. When any material is placed in magnetic field, it gets magnetized. Now, this is the magnetic field we have applied. It gets magnetized here. The actual magnetic field inside the material is the sum of the applied magnetic field and the magnetic field due to the magnetization of material. Thus, the magnetic field inside material will be one magnetic field if I consider this as B0. Another magnetic field will be inside the material. This is Bm. This is due to the material, magnetic field due to the material. B0 is the magnetic field in vacuum produced by the magnetizing field and equal to mu0 times of H. When any material is placed in magnetic field, it gets magnetized. The actual magnetic field inside the material is the sum of the applied magnetic field and the field due to magnetization of material. So, total B vector will be equal to B0 plus Bm. This is external field. This is the magnetic field inside the material. Total magnetic field. This is due to the magnetization of material. Where B0 is the magnetic field in vacuum produced by magnetizing field. And it is equal to mu0 times of H. Where H is called the intensity of magnetizing field. Where H is called 
intensity of magnetizing field. So H will be equal to B naught by mu naught. B naught is nothing but mu naught n i divided by mu naught. So it will be equal to n into i. Whereas B m is the magnetizing field due to magnetization of material and it will be written as mu naught times of i. B m is the magnetic field due to magnetization of material. B m will be equal to mu naught times of i. So intensity of magnetizing field H we have defined. Here this will be intensity of the field. B m is equal to mu naught times of i. Next property, magnetic property of the material that is magnetic susceptibility. It is given by symbol xi. Magnetic susceptibility is defined as intensity of magnetization per unit magnetizing field. Magnetic susceptibility is defined as the intensity of magnetization per unit magnetizing field. Xi is equal to I by H. It is a dimensionless quantity and may be positive or negative. Xi is a dimensionless quantity. Next quantity, magnetic property of the material, magnetic permeability. Magnetic permeability of material is the measure of degree to which the material can be magnetized by the magnetic field and defined as the ratio of magnetic field in the material for to the magnetizing field. Magnetic permeability of the material is the measure of degree to which the material can be permeated by magnetic field. It is defined as the ratio of magnetic field in the material to the magnetizing field. Thus mu is equal to B by H. Mu naught we can write it as B naught by H. Mu is also equal to mu naught into mu R. Mu naught is called the permeability of the free space. Mu R is called the relative permeability. Mu R is equal to mu by mu naught. Mu is called relative permeability. So mu naught is permeability of free space. Value of mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Newton meter square by Weber square. Mu R is the ratio. So no unit, no dimension. Relationship between mu and psi. We know now the total magnetic field B is equal to B naught plus the magnetizing field plus the magnetic field of the material. So B can be written as mu naught H plus mu naught I or it can be mu naught H into 1 plus I by H. So we can write this formula as B by mu naught H is equal to 1 plus I by H. We know B by H should be equal to mu. So since B by H is equal to mu, we can write mu by mu naught is equal to 1 plus I by H. Mu by mu naught is called relative permeability. So mu r is equal to 1 plus i by h. H is the cause, remember. So h is the cause and b is the effect. Both measures the intensity of magnetic field and are vector. B include the presence of the medium. B and h refers to the external field and not to the magnet's own field. 